guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing another boxy charm unboxing video but today I decided um, that I was going to combine both of the monthly subscriptions that I'm doing right now which is ipsy and boxy charm so if you guys don't know what ipsy is ipsy is also another monthly subscription it is ten dollars a month usually I'll bring one full-size product and then a bunch of little samples so I like Ipsy because it's a good way to try out deluxe size samples of different products that you might um, want to purchase in the future. I did a poll on Instagram which is what I've kind of been doing for the past few videos so that way I know what you guys want to see and it was whether if I should do two separate videos for my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy bag or if I should kind of put them against each other in my monthly unboxings. The option that won was the Ipsy versus Boxy Charm. So this month, this is what the Ipsy bag looks like. And it comes in like this pink little envelope that I already threw away. Usually when things don't fit in the bag, they just throw it into the envelope. And then it has this cute little bag. Um, I really do like it because of the fact that it brings these little cute travel bags. And I use these a lot for different things. Whether it be like, right now I have one in my purse that has a bunch of my cords and stuff like that for my electronics. And for feminine hygiene, you can use them for your makeup or whatever. So I think this bag is really cute. It's very athletic. It has like this little cute shoelace like zipper and then it's like that mesh material. So this month they always have like a little card inside that lets you know what the theme is. This one is I will conquer blank. So I guess you want to write your goal of what you will conquer. It says what will you conquer? Fill in the blank on the flip side of this card. And then it comes with the products inside here. It comes with two face masks. And they say up here what they're for. So this one is for brightening and this one is for after sun, which I probably will never use because I'd never go out in the sun. And then what else came in here is also a um, caviar CC cream 10 in 1 leave-in hair protector. Definitely very excited to try this out. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts and opinions in the down bar because obviously my hair already has stuff in it. So probably when I wash it, I'll try this out and see what I think. And then it also came with the Ciate Fierce Flicks Eyeliner which I'm really excited for. And then it also came with a Punk Volumizer Mascara from Deuce Little Mini. Comes with a full-size velvet liquid lipstick from Ola Neon. So let's see what color came inside. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. So I've never heard of this brand. It's in the shade DF. So I'm definitely really curious to try this out so that's everything that came in the ipsy bag and then for this month's boxy charm comes in the box like always so this year it has little rock 2018 and it has the bigger card that this one has all the products in the back and again I got box one so it comes with the it brow power universal brow pencil in the shade universal taupe very interesting and it also has like a little instruction as to how to use it so it says universal transforming shade adjust to your brow apply softer strokes for lighter hair color including blonde and silver press harder for darker hair including brown and black finish lightly brush brows through with the spoolie brush for a natural polished look see enclosed how to guide so that's really cool. So if you're not sure on how to use this, it does come with this. Then it has Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I'm really excited to try this out because especially since it's been a little bit on the colder side, this will definitely be really interesting because I, I do like luminosity, but usually luminous doesn't include pore filling, which is my biggest concern. Then it also came with a Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten. It's in the shade Dreamer. So it has a blush highlighter and a bronzer which everything looks really shimmery but I'm really excited to try this out and show you guys this new technique that I've been doing with my shimmery like bronzers and then ooh, I am so excited for this so I've been wanting to try Girlactic for a very long time so this is the Girlactic matte lip paint in the shade say on the outside of the box oh yeah that's the shade posh so let's see what it looks like Ooh, this is pretty. Kind of looks a little bit like the lip color that I got my Ipsy. No, my Ipsy's a little darker. So we'll try both of them out, see what happens. 
And then the last thing that came in here is this Glam Metals uh, palette from Crown Pearl. So I guess this is kind of what they based their theme off of. So it looks like this. Has a cute little guitar in the back so it's super cute it has like a little guitar shaped mirror and then here are the colors from what I can see it looks like there's only really one real matte color and it kind of looks like it's even a little bit satin but these colors are really pretty I'm gonna try to only use this palette for this video I'm doing it a little bit different as you guys saw I showed you guys what came in the box and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a try on all right so this is wear mask relax for 15 to 20 minutes so this is one of the sheet masks. It says for best results, use two to three times a week. Dang, that's a lot. All right, so let's see if I like this mask. So this is the brightening one. Pomegranate Crush Illuminated Fiber Sheet Mask with Vitamin E for all skin types. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. All right, so I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. <laughs> sheet masks always remind me of that one scene from Mean Girls when they're like putting bologna on their face. Do you guys remember that? Where I think it was Damien, he was like putting bologna on his face. Just oh, this smells really good. It's very cooling. It's very cold, and then it's also cold right now in Florida. It's 35 degrees right now, which is really cold for Florida. So this would probably feel good when it's hot. I don't know if it's just cold because it's cold out. I don't know. All right, it's very gooey. Putting a timer on on my watch. 15 minutes. There we go. And I'll be right back. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Still feels very, very cold. And then what I'm going to do is just whatever is left over. It doesn't say to do this, but the other sheet masks that I've tried before it says to like rub the serum in to the skin i think this might be a little bit too greasy for my face this is what my skin looks like it's definitely very very luminous like extremely luminous so next we're going to jump in to the dr brandt pores no more luminizing primer so this retails for 38 dollars and this is from my boxy charm Right, so I put, I like the little applicator, it brings one ounce. It smells nice. It doesn't have like that silicone feel at all. So I don't really see that it does much for the pores. They do look a little bit smaller, but it definitely added an additional glow. It almost has like a very light sheen. I don't know if you can see it on the back of my hand right here in this spot you see how it glows compared to this spot i like it so far and next i want to go ahead and uh, just prime my eyes really quick using my urban decay primer potion this isn't something that came in the box this is just one of my favorites i use the anti-aging version i'm gonna go ahead and use the it cosmetics brow power and this is the shade universal taupe so it comes with a nice little spoolie on one end and then i guess this is the pencil Ooh, i don't really know how i feel about that kind of I don't know if you can tell that well, but it kind of has like a oval shape. Spoolie seems nice. It's very nice and fluffy. Oh yeah, this spoolie is very nice. So usually on the front of my brows, I tend to make it more light. Using very light pressure because what it says, light pressure for lighter brows. I forgot to mention this is $24 and this is also from the Ipsy or the Boxy Charm. So that's what the front looks like. Let's see if it gets darker. Oh wow. Yeah, definitely notice it getting darker. Putting a little bit more pressure. It's very nice and creamy. I like the formula a lot. This also does have good uh, vitamins in it. I think it has, let's see, vitamins A, B5, C, and E, plus grape seed, antioxidants, green tea, palmetto, biotin. Hmm. So I guess it helps your eyebrows grow. So I know this is my first time ever trying anything from IT Cosmetics, mostly because they don't really cater to my skin color. I'm not trying to throw any shade but a lot of things that I've wanted to try from them like the undertone is just totally wrong or it's just too dark or 
too light so i've never found anything to work for me more pressure towards the end of my brow and actually the shape of the product isn't bad at all so so far i really like it i think my brows look good they look nice and fluffy they look very natural and i'm just going to quickly go ahead and just clean up underneath my brows so next i'm going to go into the brown brushes glam metals and this is also from boxycharm and this retails for 25 dollars so i'm going to use a little bit of this wild thing color so it is a metallic shade but whatever i mean i guess that's what it is, what's in there oh crap this is pigmented oh man i didn't know it was that pigmented i was like going in there for like ever so i'm going to use a little bit of my translucent powder to just um fix this right here because it looks like a little bit of a hot mess this is a fun little trick if you ever can't blend something out just use your highlight shade or some like translucent powder put it right there at the brow bone and it'll just blend everything out next i'm going to go into the shade glam rock And then I'm going to go into the shade Wicked, the Wicked, which looks like it's not as metallic as the other ones, so. Then I'm going to go into the Black Metal shade, which looks like it's a um, matte black, so I don't even know why that's what it's called. I'm just taking that on my MAC 217 brush, putting that on the lower lash line and kind of blending it up. These shadows are super pigmented. And I'm just going to build that color up in the on the lash line a little bit more then i'm going to go into the shade rock on which is a pretty olive color i do love the olives in here and i'm going to take a little bit of my evian water and just one little spray onto it because it does say on the back of the box that if you want to intensif intensify the eyeshadows to just wet your brush oh boy <laughs> that is nice yeah, it definitely gives it a nice foiled appearance. I like that a lot. And then I'm going to take some of the color Pop Rock, which seems to be a lighter olive color, and just put that in the inner part of my lid. Just add a little dimension. And I'm just going to clean off my 17 brush, and then I'm just going to make sure everything blends in nicely. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ciate Fierce Flicks. And I looked this up and this cost $20 or $19, I should say. And it is a full size, which is nice. So I like this eyeliner a lot. It seems to be applying the eyeliner on very nicely. All right, so I kind of jacked up my eyeliner right there. I think I spoke a little too soon. So it's very, very matte, which I like, but because it is so matte, it is kind of harder to use. Like it doesn't glide on as easily as my Tarte Man Eater. Usually these felt tips are a lot harder to use, but this one seems to be very creamy. So then I'm going to go back into my Glam Metals palette and just go into the black shade again and go over that liner because I really want this to be smoky. And then that'll fix my little boo-boo that I did on this eye. When in doubt, smoke it out. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and just finish the rest of my face. I'm going to put on my concealer foundation and then I'll come back to show you guys the rest of the products that came in my box. Alrighty, so I went ahead and put on my foundation, my concealer, and contoured my cheeks a little bit. So then I'm going to go into the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. And this is what came in the BoxyCharm. And this retails for $34. So I know from what I've heard, a lot of people have had a lot of controversy with this. Oh my god, this mirror is amazing. Let me put this other mirror away because I don't need that anymore. There's been a lot of controversy going on with this because it has this super shimmery metallic like bronzer shade here, which I still think can be used like kind of like as a 
just all over glow type of thing it's not necessarily meant for contouring so I'm gonna go into the highlight shade here which is called afterglow so I'm gonna put that on my cheeks holy crap holy freaking crap that is pigmented oh Nelly whoa 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 look at that glow all right so then what I'm gonna do I saw that Huda did this on her insta story um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the bronzing shade which is called blushing glow and if you guys know her 3d um, glow kit has like all shimmer shades so what she did was she took the bronzer shade and just put it underneath the highlight and that creates more of that 3d highlight effect and then you only need very little of this because this stuff is very very pigmented now using a little bit of the, sh the lighter color as my cupid bow highlight and then I'm gonna use the darker one and this is something that I always do I kind of put it right at where my eyebrows kind of meet right there and I just take a little bit of that and put it on there and that just kind of creates more of a glow into the skin now I'm gonna go into the blush shade which is called mineral glow I'm just gonna start off with a little bit because I learned my lesson this is really really nice And this just kind of blends in the highlights with the bronzer, with everything. And let me see if I can lower my brightness here a little bit so you guys can really see. So you guys see how intense this is? Oh my god. This highlight is popping. So I'm just going to go into the shimmery color. Put that into my inner corner for that nice highlight effect since the palette didn't really have a nice shimmer. So next I'm just going back into the shade Wicked and a little bit of Glam Rock. Putting that on my lower lash line to smoke things out a bit. So next I'm going to use this um, volume Punk Volumizer Mascara from Dolce and this is from the Ipsy box or the Ipsy bag. So I don't know if you guys can really tell much of a difference because I have eyeliner on. It makes the eyelashes very fluffy but I wouldn't say that it like adds a lot of volume. It does add a little bit of length too which is nice. I feel like usually however the brush of the mascara is, is usually how your eyelashes look. Because the brush is very fluffy and kind of separated and that's kind of what my lashes are doing. And I know this is with a lot of different mascara. I'm just applying second coat. Next I'm going to go into this velvet liquid lipstick from Ola Neon. This is in the shade DF. Ooh, this smells nasty. It smells like petroleum. Ugh. Smells like you're putting gasoline on your lip or like car oil. You can almost taste it. Oh, so I don't like how this lip color looks with this look. Maybe if I had like pink berry eyes, I think it would go good with it. Oh god, I have to take this off. So that dried very quickly. It just it does not smell good. I don't like how that smells. The color is pretty. Ugh, the formula seems comfortable, but I'll try it out maybe another day but for today's look. I'm gonna go in with the Galactic Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Posh. And then I'm also taking this Jante Blue Lip Liner in the shade Brown Sugar, and this came in October's BoxyCharm last year. Ooh, this smells good. See, this smells like cupcakes, it smells like vanilla. Yeah, I like this a lot. And it's definitely like more moussey. The other one was a little bit more liquidy, like it was very thin. Like if anything, this is more velvety than the other. And this is um, retails for $23. Crap, it's expensive. I don't know how I feel about this lip color either. Looks a little weird. I'm gonna add some more lip liner. There we go. So it definitely dries down a little darker too. So that kind of helped. So I think that's, that's everything. That's everything that came in my Ipsy and my Boxy Charm for January of 2018. Overall, I have to give this month's subscription to BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm is $21 that it comes with all full-size products and the reason why is because it has nothing to do with the sizes of the products. Um, I just think overall I could do a full look with everything that came in this month's BoxyCharm and that lipstick just smelled horrible like horrible the eyeliner from ipsy was amazing and definitely was worth the ten dollars because it is 19 so you're basically getting it 
for nine dollars off and everything else is just basically bonuses yeah overall i think boxycharm definitely won i hope you guys did enjoy this video and as always if you guys have any requests let me know down below in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video until then